All right, so Islam Makhachev is now officially a five-star fighter, as you guys can see right there. Um, he is the current lightweight champion, defeated Charles Oliveira to become the champion. And shortly after, the man was upgraded. His stats upgraded, mostly his striking, upgraded to a five-star, as you can see right now. So let's take a look at the man. Um, perks, fast hands, grinder. Wrestle Clinic Force of Nature. Very interesting. He's got fast hands in there. I mean, okay. I mean, <laughs> if they, I guess Islam is a striker now. You know, I guess he's a he's a he's a world renowned striker now. You take a look at his stand up. We're looking at punch speed of ninety four. Um, compared to say Habib, a punch punch speed of ninety. Um, Islam punch power of ninety four. Again, compared to Habib, punch power of ninety two. Islam accuracy of 95 compared to Habib accuracy of 89 and we're talking this is this is this is icon icon Habib five star Habib um blocking 93 Habib eh, Habib's blocking is pretty good pretty good um Islam's head movement 91 90 footwork and 95 95 footwork like that is that's a little bit like what the hell are you guys talking about? Like, since when does is Islam's footwork that good? I mean, a 95, bro? Really? That's really what we're going for, Islam? Okay. Um, Takedown defense, kick power, kick speed. Kick speed at a 91 is also very interesting right there. Very, very interesting. Um, Take a look at his grappling. Of course, his grappling is just nutty. Takedowns a 99. Um... On par with Habib's top control, 100. Bottom control, 93. Submissions, a 99. He's got better submissions than Habib, which I suppose that you could say that makes sense. Um, submission defense, 99 to Habib's 96. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Jeez. You guys, you guys have lost your mind, bro. You, he, 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 Islam is so OP right now, dude. Ground striking at 95, clinch striking 96, clinch control 98. Like, what the fuck is going on? His health stats, cardio, and I'm comparing him to Habib, of course, because, well, who else am I going to fucking compare him to in this weight class besides Habib? Come on now. Um, cardio 96, Habib's 95, chin 92, Habib's 95. That makes sense. Islam's been KO'd before. Habib hasn't, so that makes sense. Um, body health 92 to Habib's 92, leg health 90 to Habib's 92, recovery 93, 95. Okay. And then top moves, wrestling sweeps, leg chokes, uh, wrestling double leg, wrestling single leg, his hook. Um, and then there you have it. So the man looks good, bro. They, I, there's no, I mean, what, what else can we say besides Islam looks pretty damn good. He's pretty damn good. Another fighter that is, um, that's, that's really, really good. Um, that we like to compare is Alexander Volkanovsky. He's another one. And if you were to compare the stats, you actually see that Islam, Islam is actually better than Alexander Volkanovsky, but that's not all we're doing today. Um, we're going to try to use Islam. Um, if we go and look right now at the weight classes that we have, um, I'm almost certain it is not actually the weight class that I need. And I'm, I'm going to try to not skip anything for this video right here, just so you guys can kind of see my process. Yeah. So right now it's the middleweight and the welterweight division. After that, it's heavyweight and light heavyweight. And bro, I don't really don't have time to sit and wait for all these weight classes so i'm actually going to try to do it in in quick match and i'm going to show you guys my process of finding a good fight in quick match um because what i typically do is if i go in there i'm gonna if i get into a match i give my opponent a few seconds just to get an idea of if i think they're good or if they're not if, they're, if I don't think they're good, I leave right away. I leave. I try to find a different one because I don't want to waste my time. So, figured I'd show you guys my process. What? Yo. Yeah, can you stop? Show you guys how I get matches in quick match. All right. So, Islam... 
Let's see who my opponent wants to go with. I also keep an eye on the uh, on the ping. Oh, he goes, he goes Nate Diaz. So right away, um, I also like to guess. It's a fun game that I like to play with myself. Depending on how quickly my opponent picked their fighter, um, how many points it seems like they have, I like to guess if the opponent is good or not. I'm going to say this guy is good. That's that's my guess. All right. Right away, I'm going to guess that my opponent is good, but we shall see. Of course, Islam is now a striker. So Okay. Nice. All right, he sends me back. Let's see. So right away, this dude is good. He's moving his head pretty well, which I like. It's always a pretty damn good indication of a player that's good. Also a player that plays footsies very well. It's a very good way to know if they're good. I also like how he is um, managing the ring. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Good head movement. Send him back a little bit. All right, let's take him seriously now. There you go. As we sit him down right away, hit him with the uppercut. Relax. There's no rush. There's no rush whatsoever. All right, he's going to duck. The way he's following up, the way he follows up with the uppercut, we're gonna try to pull and and counter with the see that see the way he falls up with the uppercut right there. It's a very so let's let let's let him up let him up. The way he follows up with the uppercut when he goes for the one two uppercut, we can pull counter and get him. Relax, relax, sir. You've lost the fight. There it is. You see that right there? That's what we're gonna get him with. One. He's gonna go one two one one two. Woo. Okay, that was close. Rocked. We're gonna go body body. Go to the head. He's gonna go one two uppercut. We're gonna pull counter and get him out of there. One two. Uh huh. Sit him down. He's gonna go again. He's gonna do it again. You notice he generally likes to start his combos off with a with a left hook. Right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. I think he's good enough for me to get a good match from him. Um nothing too crazy, but he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> and we are not worried about the taunting. He's trying to role play Nate Diaz. Nothing wrong with that. Jab, straight, uppercut. Jab, jab. Oh, he goes to the he goes to the leg right there. Set him down real quick. I'm gonna go body head. That was close. Yeah, I'm also not gonna take anyone down. Yeah, I'm also not gonna take anyone down in this playthrough just because like it's not gonna work. And he's out. If I take these guys down in quick match, they're gonna they're gonna run. They're, they're just they're gonna quit out immediately. They they're 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 triggered. Their quit trigger in quick match is so. It's so fast, man. These guys, they have no patience for grappling whatsoever. And, you know, of course, when you're using someone like Habib or someone like Islam Makhachev, you definitely want to grapple. But again, you want to keep in mind 
the sort of players that you're running into. And uh, you want to accommodate them in quick match, you know, unless you want everybody you fight to run away. So that was a very good first one. I'm going to try to get another one. And I'm probably going to do more videos like this right here where I just don't do any skips. Um, just go through the process like this. Now, this guy, I'm going to see how quickly he chooses his fighter. And then that's going to give me an initial. It's going to tell me initially. He goes with Connor. Um, okay, so one thing, his connection is very stable. It is very, very stable. Um, which is an indication he's good. Two, he went Conor McGregor immediately. Some tells me this dude is good, even though he has very, very few points. My initial guess is that he's good. But we'll see. He's good. I love, I love the movement. See the movement? Yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm going to watch this screen right here. Footsies. He's very patient right now. There you go. I'm actually thinking that I'm going to um just cuz I don't I don't think this dude is going to have the pride. I don't think his pride will let him quit out of the match if I take him down. So I'm gonna see if um the leg kicks is a good idea. There you go. Nice deny. Yeah, I don't think I don't think his pride will let him quit out the match. When you're a good player. When you're good at the game, you're not going to want to just easily just give me a win. That's the last thing you're going to want to do. I'm very surprised he didn't deny that though. Like that is a very easy deny. He's going to go right. He goes, okay. He went a direction I did not expect. Side control right away. Let's hold that for a little bit. He's going to throw two. Go up. Okay. He's going directions that I am not expecting him to go. Going to posture. Relax. Okay, so now he's playing the game of just waiting for me. When they do that, I take this opportunity to whittle down their head health. That's what I do. He's playing the game of, I don't want to waste stamina. So I'm just going to lay on my back and barely do anything. And I'm just going to make sure that in round number two, you don't take me down. It's an okay game to play if you, if you want to make sure that you don't waste stamina. And if you know that the guy you're fighting has very good... Um, some uh, transition denials. It can also be a very risky game to play because, like I said, I'm just going to whittle head health. I know what's up. Come on. 
Very good deny. Very good. All right. This dude is being very passive, which tells me he loves to play a stamina game. When they play a stamina game, the solution is to make sure that my stamina is higher than his. There you go. And it doesn't hurt to make sure his leg is consistently being damaged. See, what's going to happen to him is that he's going he's gonna to wait too long. And he's going to get to a point while waiting that he's going to realize it's too late. I've done too much damage to him. Yeah. He'll realize that I've done too much damage to him. Then he's going to get desperate and start rushing. That's not good. You don't want to wait too long, sir. You're waiting too long. And now we relax. Now we calm down a little bit. Now we calm down. If he gets too aggressive, I'll look to take him down. I'm going to calm down and just focus on landing leg kicks on him. I mean, look at how passive he is. Like, I don't know what he's waiting for. He hasn't, like, he's not going to have the stamina advantage he thinks he will. And I've won this round. You got to be, you, you got to be cognizant not to do this. Yeah, you don't want to do this, bro. It's not the game you want to play. You waited too long. You waited too long. Keep the pressure going. You scored a knockdown. Don't get over aggressive. Keep doing. I know, I know. I know the game. I know the game. He's waiting. He's just waiting too long. You have to conserve your stamina while also being active. You don't conserve stamina by just being ridiculously passive. All right, he's gonna play the waiting game. All right, smart man. I'm gonna get up. Um, where is stacked? Oh, I know I, oh. I. I'm gonna get up, come in, come in. All right, not bad. <laughs> See what I mean? He's getting aggressive now, but it's too late. His head health is too low. His head health is too low, and his head is his leg is too damaged. My leg is damaged. Okay, relax, relax. I see. <laughs> it's not going to work, man. I thought he was going to go to my body right there. Ah, come on.
Relax. There's nothing there. I'm going to let him forget about the leg kicks just for a little bit. Then we're going to go back to it. Because right now, I don't want to kick him in the leg and, and have my, my rear leg hurt. I'm going to try and see if he forgot about it. Almost. That's also a good way to sneak in leg kicks. Hide it in combos. No. Yeah, that dude is waiting too... He's just waiting too much. He's just waiting too damn long. And I don't want to go full-on aggression. And a big reason for that... I'm, I'm going to see if I can ground him in this round. See if I can ground him in this round. Now he's going to try to be aggressive. There you go. Dude, you're 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 actually kind of smart. You're going in the directions I don't think you're going to go. I love it when he just just throw. Just throw. If I can get him also ducking and moving his head and bobbing and weaving, that'll be a very good time to start winging these leg kicks. Okay. He did a very good job of using, of using that to slow me down. Nice. Well-timed. Relax. Nice. <laughs> that was close. I want him ducking. Yes, I want him doing that. Yes. That's the right. Yeah, that's what we want. There we go. Very good. Like I said, man, the, the issue that he had, this particular guy, the, the, his problem is that he waited too long. He was playing a stamina game. He was trying to make sure that he doesn't gas out, you know, I don't want to gas out. I don't want to get tired. I don't want to get tired. But like, while you're doing, while you try to do that, you're gonna find that you're just gonna take damage. You'll accumulate damage. Your leg is gonna get damaged. Your head is gonna get damaged. Your body is gonna get damaged. And when you finally get and and your opponent's stamina is not gonna go down to the degree that you wish it will. Because what he was hoping for is that my stamina will go down to a. Uh, a manageable degree and then he can turn it up on me and then I won't have the heat I won't have the gas to uh, to fight back but while I'm also attacking him I'm managing my stamina I'm damaging his legs I'm damaging his head I'm working his body when you notice your opponent is doing that and you're trying to play a stamina game where you wait until the later rounds for you to then pick it up you need to switch things up immediately and you got to go, man. You got to go because you're eating damage and you're using Connor. There are few fighters in the game designed for doing damage better than Connor McGregor, bro. Like if you're using Connor and you're not doing damage to your opponent and you're waiting until the later rounds, that is the absolute wrong way to use Connor. You pick up Connor McGregor and you need to go out there and you need to put some damage on your opponent. And don't be afraid to do it, bro. You have a powerful character. A ridiculously fast character, a character with very good footwork, a character with very high health stats, you're fine. There's no need to wait, bro. There's no need to wait. Um, anyways, that is where we're going to leave this. This video is going to be 
a lot longer than it generally is just because I'm not going to be cutting anything out. So I'm going to leave it at two matches. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like on the video. And um, I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.